Hey guys, so today I want to take a quick little look here at the browser experience here with the very very cheap Lumia 520 smartphone over here on the left side versus the iPhone 5 here with the latest iOS 7 GM edition. So let's have a look at it over here. So I'm just going to fire up Safari here in the Explorer browser here, um, like the Internet Explorer browser on my Lumia phone. Okay, so I have loaded up GSM Arena here. This is the interesting thing. I mean, the Lumia 520 costs around 150 euros. This device costs around uh, probably 500 euros, 550 euros. Uh, but let's have a look here at the, the performance. So you can see here, load up the full page. Let's do first a quick little reload here. Apple quicker. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna notice here is that when we do have them side by side here, let's see. First of all, it's kind of hard to read the text on both devices uh, because they both have, I mean, you have to zoom in a little bit over here, but it's a little bit easier here on the iPhone 5 when we are completely zoomed out because of the high resolution display. You can also see that the display in general on the iPhone is more quality, it's definitely brighter. And uh, another little thing here, let's try to look at the UI here. Here the UI is at the bottom. So you have first type area here you know, where you get it also over here, but uh, here it's at the top. Uh, both have a reload button, easily available. Uh, and then you do have a menu button here uh, on the Lumia phone to get some quick settings. And that's it. So very, very simple UI. Same here with Apple. Uh, they do have though some back buttons here, but you, you have a back button over here, so you don't have to have these two. Uh, you do have a button here to, for your bookmarks and some quick stuff if you want to share something, uh, which is pretty nice. A private mode, uh, if you want to search for porn or do whatever you like, uh, which is pretty nice. And you don't want to save any history. I'm not really sure if you do have a private mode here in the Explorer browser. Uh, also, in terms of tabs, let's see here. Yeah, you have to go to tabs over here. Very, very cool little tab system. Uh, and then uh, Apple also have a very, very cool new cover flow tab system that probably is coming originally, originally from Google Chrome and Android. Uh, let's try here to zoom in a little bit and see the performance. You can see one annoying thing with the Lumia device is that it kind of moves around because it's a lightweight phone. So when you use, use this with the, uh, on a table, it can move around. Just like the iPhone 44S did a lot, uh, which is extremely annoying sometimes, especially if you're doing videos like this. But in terms of performance here, uh, it's really, really good actually for the price that you do pay. Uh, you don't notice any major lag or re-rendering issues or anything that you can sometimes see on a lot of Android devices, even expensive, more expensive Android smartphones. Uh, of course, Apple though is still better in terms of performance here, but remember that this device costs so much more. Uh, let's also see here if we can load up this. So you do have an interesting feature here in many Android smartphones and also with Apple here, if you're on an article uh, with the iPhone here, you can just tap one button up here to get the reading mode uh, where you only do get the text and the pictures that you uh, usually just want uh, to see. You don't want to see any ads or anything. It doesn't seem like you do get that or a feature like text reflow here in Windows Phone 8 on the Lumia 520, which, which definitely could be annoying if you do like reading. Maybe there is a different or better way to do this. Uh, but not something that I can say. If you want to go back here also on the iPhone, you have a very, very useful feature where you can swipe to go back. Here I have to load the page up again. Here it seems like it saved it or cached it or something. So extremely cool little feature there uh, that I don't think that a lot, a lot of people will find useful once they start to use it. Um, let's see here also if we can load up something something other and I mean definitely the display here it means so much better here on the iPhone uh, but definitely this works I mean remember the price that you will pay for the device I mean it's pretty intense also when we double tap here let's see will it just 
how this thing kind of focus. Maybe not as good sensitivity either, uh, but not super far behind over here when we are comparing a little bit. Uh, so you did see there, I did load this one up. Let's try here in terms of going up and down, one swipe. Let's start off here with the iPhone. You can see this one definitely could be slow also in terms of loading stuff up if you do a mistake. So let's try here to go from the bottom to the top. You can see how I had to do two swipes here on the iPhone. Just one swipe here in the Lumia phone, which I do enjoy more because if I do a hard, hard swipe, I really just want to go up with one swipe. I don't have to do many, many, many swipes. Uh, this may not be a big deal though. It depends on how you use your device. And then also, of course, with the iPhone, you can like tap here or something. You can tap here at the clock or something to go up instantly. But sometimes I actually just accidentally type uh, tap on the wrong thing there. It just opens up that one, which is extremely annoying. So you should kind of like tap on the clock up there. But sometimes this one has to become bigger, which is annoying. Uh, just quickly look here though. Hopefully you did enjoy this video a little bit. Uh, just a quick little view here uh, on the browser and everything, the latest GM update. and here with my Windows Phone device, and we have rumors here that the new Windows Phone 8.1 is gonna kind of come out, or it's leaking out, at least it seems. So uh, hopefully you have liked this. Have a good day.